Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I want to talk to you about where you put yourself in terms of hierarchy in a relationship. So this was inspired by a conversation I was having with a friend. We were driving to lunch on PCH in California, and she's a consultant, and she was talking about how oftentimes in her work, her people-pleasing comes up. She wants to please the client, she really wants to make them happy, and so she found herself kind of contorting and bending and not really living in her truth because they were the ones paying her, and she felt she had to please them, all the patternings. And I see this a lot with people. In, in relationships when there's a dynamic, especially in professional relationships, we tend to kind of do this, right? We're like, if, if I'm the supportive one in the relationship, or I'm the consultant, or I'm the assistant, or whatever it is, and I'm here, and the person I'm working for is here, or the client's here and I'm here, and we unconsciously or consciously create hierarchy in relationship. Or if we hire someone, we think we're here, they work for us, and, and they're there. The truth is, in any relationship, it's this. It doesn't matter what the roles are. It's always this, because there's an exchange. There's an exchange of energy. And for a relationship to really work, business or personal, it has to be even. No one can be high ego, low ego, you're less, I'm better, this, that. When that starts to happen, then those old patternings like people pleasing or controlling or contorting ourselves or all those things come up. So I want you to really look at your relationships, especially your professional relationships, and where are you demoting yourself or where are you promoting yourself, either making yourself less than or better than, when really it's like this. You know, I think of the people in my life that support me, you could say they work for me, but they're not here. Because what they're giving me and how they're feeding me and how they're supporting me is so valuable and that's their gifts. And people that are in supportive roles or service-based industries don't value their gifts enough, I find. So if you're one of those people, I just want to speak to you for a second. If you are in a supportive role or a consulting role, the value you provide is so, so, so important. So please don't demote yourself. And if you are a person that has people working for you, really look at, are you doing any of that aboveness? Or are you really putting value on what you're receiving? Any relationship, remember, this doesn't work. This is what we're all going for so that we can communicate in integrity, in truth, and in love. And so all of our relationships can have that, not, not just equality, but can have the kind of opportunity where both people get to shine, both people get to share their gifts, and both people get to be the brightest they can be. Much love and many blessings. I'll see you next week.